I don't know what's going on, fam. I really don't understand it. But we have to talk about it. Why did why do guys put themselves in situations like this? Why do they do this? Why do they put themselves in situations where they see another dude go through some difficulty? And rather than these dudes not get involved with another man's wife, they figure, well, you know, I want to get the cooch. So even though I see there's a divorce, I feel like, you know, I want to get with that man's wife. Like, you you, you brothers can't get with no other woman? Like, y'all got to get with another man's wife? Like, I, I, I'm trying to figure this out, man. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the industry where you got... Uh, who is this guy? Uh, Marcus Jordan. Supposed to be what? Michael Jordan's son? Like, you get with Pippin's ex, and now y'all break up? <laughs> you gonna tell me you, you can't see what's going on here? Y'all can't see what's happening. Let me kind of wait for people to come in, fam. I don't know. Maybe it's my intro when I do my intro. Maybe that's what I should do, right? Go go to my intro. Maybe that'll do it. Yo nigga buy that paper. Yo nigga buy that paper. True man, I'm free, I wake up a new episode. I pop out clean and skippy up a level, though. She talked to me like I'm not me, I get it, though. Yeah, I'm so eclectic, I me to the credits. Roll talk down to me, they might have this in medical. I'm out the league, I'm OD, they pathetic, though. Look how I move, I'm protected. Shawty's so swoon in my presence. The world going through it outside, they unruly, but I keep it cool, they can't press me. I keep it pure with intention. They see what I'm on, ain't no vixen. I might like do it that top down. I keep it tuned with a high power. Put it on me, I'm blessed. Young nigga, blessed. No stress, keep no evil around me, can't ground me, I know this since when I had less No hex on God, can't pause, nigga, look at how far we progress Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid, I don't see a thing about that paper Don't think about that paper On the jet, I just switch to the coast. One of a kind, I've been playing that role. They pay me to play me, I needed it for. It's real if I said I meant what I spoke. I'm legend, it's written, I shake up the city. Spin block till I'm dizzy, won't ever go broke. I'm chose, I must like the way that top down. I keep in tune with a high power. Put it on me, I'm blessed. Young nigga, blessed. Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress. Keep no evil around me, can't ground me. I built it since when I had this. No hex on God, can't pause. Nigga, look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper. Okay, getting back to my point here. Why is it that guys like to get with leftovers? Why do, why do us brothers like to do that type of stuff? Out of all the women that we could choose as men, we'll wait for a man to divorce a woman or a woman divorce a man, and we think the best course of action is to get with them. I don't understand that. It, it don't make no sense to me that we... It's like we like taking leftovers. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't see that? Y'all don't get it? This dude got with another man's wife. 
and thought it was going to be sweet. And now they split up. This is an embarrassment, man. We live in a land full of adultery. We really live in a sick world, bro. We just got watching a video where Planned Parenthood is teaching young girls that their virginity is a concept that is made up. It don't even mean anything. It's like it's fake. And then we have situations like this. You, you, don't, you haven't noticed that all throughout the industry, you have men dating other men wives. We have Kanye getting with a woman that Ray J had on a video that the whole world seen that was topping him off. He was blowing her back out. And Kanye decides, you know what? I'm going to marry this woman. I'm going to marry her. And I'm going to have some kids. It's amazing. You know? You look at uh, guys like, um, what's this guy from, uh, what is it? Def Jam? Def Jam? Is it Def? Russell Simmons, Right? Russell Simmons get with Kamora Lee, the Asian woman, and then he decides they break up, right? They split, and then I think she got with the um, the African guy. She got with the African guy, the actor, the dark skin guy. He ended up getting with her. They have some kids, and I think that she got rid of him too. And got with somebody else. Like, what's going on with this industry? The industry is really sick. You would think that all of these guys that got money would go get their pick of the litter. But instead they get with another man's wife. Jordan, one of the greatest players. His son decides to go get with one of his teammates' wife. Now, you got to think about this. For a man to go get with your wife, that means he was clocking your wife the whole time. There's no way that Marcus Jordan got with Larza, Lorza, Pippen. And why she still got his name if they're not together? Like, that name is not supposed to be there no more. Why she still carrying his name, though? And why Pippen haven't dealt with that situation by telling the people, like, look, you can't wear my name no more. Stop using my name. You know? Why this dude got with this man's wife right after a divorce, they dating? This old woman now. Like, why would this younger brother or whatever the case is says, you know, I'm going to go get with this woman that Pippin was dating. Like, I'm thinking this got to be rituals, man. This, this got to be rituals. This got to be a ritualistic type family where you got to marry in that bloodline and continue to do this. It got to be. Because I don't see how could a man see another man go through a divorce, see his pockets get ripped, and then say, you know what? I want his wife. He got to be controlled by a demon or this is what the industry is like. Come on now. How much money Pippin lost? How much money Pippin lost, gang? Let me see if I can find some info. See if I can find some info on this. Money, let me 
Let's see how much money did Pippin lose in divorce settlement. I know he lost a lot, man. Um, Lorza Pippin, I water in divorce settlement. Let's see what we got. Okay. He was married to this woman nearly 20 years. It's crazy how dude, dude literally got with her when she is, is old, but Pippin got her when she was young. <laughs> Pippin got with her when she was young, but he got with her when she was old. This is amazing, man. I don't get it, man. Hold on a second. Let me check something out here. See what's going on. Um, what the hell is this, man? Nah, fam. We got to do a video about that, too, man. This is some sick stuff, bro. Some sick stuff. Yo, man. I don't know what's going on today, fam. But there's a lot of satanic stuff going on, bro. Like, literally. A lot of stuff is going on here. People are literally going crazy. I'll talk about that next. But let's, let me put this on the screen first. Let me see how much money he lost. Um... Yeah, Pippin had her when she was probably in her 30s, I guess. So that woman is probably in her 50s. We'll find that out in a second. It says, what is Scotty Pippin? Wait, net worth. What is this? Reveals 57-year-old current net worth is 20 million. But during, nah, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for that. Let me show you this particular picture because this, this speaks volumes of how these dudes are always getting the leftovers. It's sad. You know? I don't understand how cats could be making a bunch of money and get with women when they old and think they, cut, they got some sort of good catch. Like, I don't get that, fam. You guys got to do better, bro. Y'all be, be tripping out here, man. Uh, Laura Pippen's divorce settlement. How much did she get? Um, Chicago Bulls. Why these sites are all over the place, man? <laughs> she 49 years old, bro. You said we got a clown in the chat. Who? What's their name? Point their name out so I can pack them up. I'm not even reading the chat. I'm too busy focused on what I'm doing. Um, let me see. Um, she doesn't like Marcus Jordan and probably wants to tarnish his legacy. Well, none of these women really like these guys. These guys are just a meal ticket. You know, at the end of the day, these guys be thinking they're a boss. But at the end of the day, it's really a money grab. You know what I mean? It's really a money grab when they get with these type of dudes. A lot of guys, they, they, they place their value on how much money they got. And this is why they always losing. This dude thought he could get with Pippin's wife. And at the end of the day, now their relationship is over. And she going to go get with another man. You know. She's going to get with another bum and take his money. She probably got money out of this guy. The little bit of money he got. Right. So I'm seeing something here about 50-50. That Laura Pippen entitled to 50-50 split of Scottie Pippen's retirement funds. See, this is why you guys, man, need to stay away from marriage, bro. Like, seriously, man. It's like, it's just so bad out here, man. 
I mean, you get married to a woman, you spend 20 years with her, and then she end up divorcing, and then you lose everything. It makes no sense, bro. It's a bad investment all around. I don't recommend you guys do that, bro. Can't recommend that. You know? This is Scotty. You know what I'm saying? He got with her, as you can see based on the photo. You know, you check this one out here. That's Scotty there. Now, she didn't even love Scotty. You have to understand, it was all about the money. You got to understand that, fam. A lot of you guys, man, you began with these women and you be thinking that, you know, she's really feeling you for you. Is it Nah, man, it's the lifestyle. You know what I mean? They after that lifestyle, bro. And, you know, Scotty fell for the okie doke because he thought he was the man. And she probably was screwing around with some other guy at the same time. That's what always happens. And then when they get tired of you, you know, they go and they want somebody, somebody different. And that's why she got with, uh, got with Marcus over here because she figured, hey, he's coming from, you know, the Jordan family. So he got bread and, you know, but he's an entrepreneur. He's been doing his own thing. And, um, I'm not sure what his net worth is. I kind of did a quick Googles, and I, I don't know if it's like $2 million or something like that. I don't know. I guess things he did on his own, maybe he made more. I don't know. But um, why, why he got with, with this woman? You know? It, it don't make no sense at all, fam. Like, guys, we got to stop. Like, especially if you're a dude and... You work your ASS off, man. You now getting some, you now get into the bag, right? A guy like you are supposed to be on a whole different level of discernment when it comes to women. Unlike all the other guys out here that just waste their time spending all their money, if you're a dude that really got bread, you're supposed to be at a higher level in terms of understanding women by not going to that next level. Number one, don't take none of them down the aisle. None of them. I don't care. Bro, don't do it. You kick it with her. Y'all get it in. She's serving you. She's cooking for you. Cool. Keep her in your life. See how she go. Because you got to prove these women, bro. You got to prove them. You just can't get with these women and just think, oh, I'm going to go take her down the aisle and marry her. No, don't do that. Don't do that, fam. You go marry her, you going to die, bro. She going to take everything from you and leave you dry, bro. Broke. She going to take everything you built. Everything you built up all over those years. Think about this, guys. Think about how much time, how many years it took for you to get to where you are now. Think about the blood, sweat, and tears of how many countless hours you put in to what you do best. Day in, day out. Sweating. Reading books. Looking at tutorials. Going to school. You know. Uh, doing some internship. Working for free in order to learn. And you build yourself up to a level and it's like, okay, I finally started to crack the surface of some success, fam. Finally. And then a woman come in your life. <sighs> ruins everything. She come into your life. She take you away from your work. You brothers know what I'm talking about, bro. You were diligent. You were working hard towards your goals. You were passionate about what you believed in. And then a woman came in and she took all your time away, bro. You were no longer committed to the thing you love. I'm not saying you can't deal with certain women, but at the same time as men, we got to make better decisions. Because a lot of times you got women like Lords of Pimpin, that Pippin, Pippin, Pimpin. That's exactly it. Lords of Pimpin. That's exactly what it is, bro. She's pimping. She look at different dudes and she size them up. And she's saying to herself, 
This is the guy I'm going to get with to get this bread. I'm going to get this bread, fam. All your hard work down the drain. Think about how Pippin felt, fam. Think about how this man felt after spending all them years, bro. All them years with this woman. Only to, to get a divorce. Because she never really loved him, bro. Never did. That's what a lot of you guys going to learn the hard way. Keep telling you, man. I don't know who made up this saying. I don't know who made up this saying, so I don't know who to get a credit to. But I heard this thing. I don't know who made it up. But somebody said one of the ultimate tests for a woman is being with a man when he's broke. That's like one of the ultimate tests of a woman. In other words, if a woman could be with you when you don't even have no money, bro, that is when you know she's true, bro. That is how you know. When you ain't got it and your woman is still there striving with you, going through the motions, going through the struggle, that's when you know you got a real one, man. It's when you, when you don't got it. See, when you got bread, it's easy for a woman to like you. It's easy for a woman to submit because you got the bag. But can that woman do that if there's no bag? Will that woman... Hold you like and embrace you as her man if the money ain't there. Would she feel motivated to give you that respect that you deserve as a man? Would, would she be willing to do it? Or is she motivated by the money? You know, I was on uh, Shannon Sharp's uh, Instagram kind of looking for a video clip because they have all this drama going on around about Shannon versus Mike Epps and all this other mess. So I'm kind of finding out, trying to see what's happening in these streets. And I was looking at a video clip and you saw Shannon getting some keys to, a, I think it's, a, is it a Mercedes Benz or a BMW? I think it's a BMW. And very, very nice car, very nice automobile. Um, can't call it a car. You got to call it automobile. Very nice um, luxury automobile. And I'm saying to myself, an automobile like that will automatically make a lot of these women come out of their panties, right? You pull up in that, panties are off. And I'm trying to figure out, women that do that are typically not good women. If it take me to have to pull up in a car like that in order to get you to give me respect, then you're not a good woman. There's nothing about you that's good. Because if I pulled up in a, a, a 2005, uh, you know, some car, Hyundai, uh, Nissan, whatever the case is, I should be able to get that same level of respect from a woman. And, and if she's not giving me that, with the Nissan, then she's not really a good woman. And for a lot of you guys, it, it's like the only time you see women trying to show you any sort of attention or respect is when you have this money. And this is why I keep telling you, guys that got money aren't getting women because these women like them. No, these women like money. They don't like the guy. They don't respect the guy because the minute the money run out, she's out. Now, the reason why the divorce with Pippen happened is because Pippen pretty much got out of the NBA. Now, I'm going to put you on some understanding and some game to make you realize what's going on. A lot of these NBA players, when they're on the court, their woman get aroused and get excited by seeing them on the court. But when they retire... And they're just that ninja in the house. Now they look old. Now they look like an old man that's not really doing nothing. So the woman loses attraction for them. 
because she don't see him as the man that she was attracted to when she first got with him. See, when she got with Pippin, right, he was on the court. And that's pretty much what she remembers. She remember seeing him in his uniform on the court. And seeing him in the uniform, that made her go crazy. That made her want him. Because she was she was attracted to the athlete. She was attracted to the the guy that was that was on the court. But when he got out of the NBA, right? That's when she lost all respect for him, all attraction. It died out. And that's how a lot of women be, bro. They're like the weather, man. The weather changes. One minute it's sunny. Next minute it's snowing. Like they say it's supposed to snow in New York tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to snow. It is what it is. But they saying that the kids are off. It is what it is. But that's how a lot of women be. So why would Marcus Jordan get with this woman knowing that she was with this man and they had a horrible divorce? Why would he do that to himself? Knowing the consequences. Knowing that she did Pippin dirty. You know? Out of all the women Marcus could have got, he chose her? Really? And notice this. Pippin had her when she was younger. Had her for 20 years. Pippin was able to enjoy the cooch for 20 years. And then Marcus pulled up and got the leftovers. Make it make sense. I don't understand this, bro. Like, could somebody explain this to me? Could somebody really explain what is the obsession with these guys today that would take 20-year-old cooch and claim that, oh, this is my woman? So you mean for 20 years, Pippin been blowing her back out and you come in after her cooch been violated for 20 years her cooch been serving time popping out babies uh getting blown out taking in liquid juice and here you come to be her man after that cooch been demolished for 20 plus years, bro, like it don't make no sense. What's the matter with you guys? And now your relationship with her is over? <laughs> the woman is literally like 50 years old, bro. Like 50. What was Marcus thinking? This got to be some sort of ritual, bro. Got to be. Did 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 the industry send Marcus to piss off pimping? Did Jordan do this? Who approved this relationship? It should have never happened. No man should have got with Pippin's wife, bro. Out of pure respect, nobody should have got with her. They should have left her alone, bro. Leave her alone, man. Fam, I cannot do that, bro. If I'm cool with somebody, or let's say we co-workers on the job, you broke up with your old lady. Fam, I ain't messing with your woman, bro. Yo, that's so disrespectful, man. That is so disrespectful to be in the workplace, see your co-worker with his woman. They break up and then you kind of slip inside and start dating her. That mean the whole time you were watching bro man's woman. That mean the whole time you wanted to sleep with her, bro. The whole time you were watching that man's woman. This is crazy, man. Guys, we got to do better, man. We really got to do better, bro. We got to do better, man. This is getting out of hand. Dudes are out here trying to wife up leftovers, bro. 
And I don't mean no disrespect if you're a woman and you're leftovers, but at the end of the day, you're leftovers at the end of the day. Like, what, what do you call it? You've been in a 20-year marriage with this dude. And you think right after the divorce, you already in a relationship already that quick? That mean the whole time you were sleeping with this dude. She was already messing with Marcus, y'all. The whole time. The whole time, Marcus was banging Pippin's wife, bro. Real talk, fam. Real spit. You just don't get with another man's wife just like that, fam. That mean that when Jordan would kind of talk with Pimpin and whatnot and everything was cool, he probably brought his son around and probably even went to, his, to Pippin's house with Marcus. And, you know, Pippin's wife was checking him out like, oh, snap. That's Jordan's son? Really? And they probably had a little fling on the low. You know what I'm saying? A little thang thang on the sidelines, you know. And then every time Pippen was in a game, Marcus would swing over to the crib and kind of lace up Laza Pippen. He, he, she, he would lace her up, you know what I mean? put in that work and she forgot about you know Pippin she forgot about him that's what happened y'all guys y'all have to understand the signs Marcus already was fucking Laza Pippin he he was already between the sheets this relationship didn't just come to being he was already there while she was with Pippin trust me man that's how ladies be doing it bro they don't break up and then get with a new guy. Nah, the, the new guy was already there. Trust and believe, bro. Before a woman cancel your ticket, the new guy is already there on reserve, bro. The new guy is already screwing your woman. She ain't going to tell you. She not going to tell you, bro. The new guy is already getting head from your woman. Matter of fact, to be honest with you, bro, and I know this is going to disappoint a lot of you guys, but the new guy, the new guy actually humbled your woman. The new tricks your woman know how to do sexually, she learned from the other guy. I know it's hurting your feelings. I know it's bothering your heart. I know you don't want to believe that. But the only reason why your woman is able to do the things that she do is because the other man broke her in. I'm telling you, bro. These are facts, bro. Your woman trying some new freaky deaky stuff that she ain't do before. And when you try it, it's like, like, dag, were you, were you doing this thing already? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like her first time, you like, hey, sister, you know what I'm saying? She giving you some head. You're like, hey, go deeper. And she go, she go the whole way. And you're like. What you talking about, Willis? How in the world she made my rod disappear, bro? She didn't even gag. The reason why she ain't gag, fam, is because she already got broken in. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to show you, bro. You know? You with, the, you with that woman and you blew her back door open. <laughs> and she said this was her first time. <laughs> and it was like nothing. Bro, she already done been doing this, bro, with the other dude on her job. I know it's bothering you that this is what your girl is doing. I know. I know it. it's traumatizing to hear these things, but this is what goes down, bro. The dude on the side was already working your woman, bro. He opened her up. 
and now you're able to get with her. I know it bothers you, man. I know it's, it hurts, man. So when you look at Laws of Pippin and this, this dude, Marcus, you know, he got the leftovers. And the only reason why he with her is because there's certain things that she know how to do because uh, Pippin pretty much, well, we can't even say he was training her. Even though he was with her for 20 years, can't really say it because she probably was cheating on him the whole time. Because to be honest, fam, respectfully, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. All due respect to Pippin, but dude don't look like the kind of dude that be pulling women like this, bro. I'm just keeping it a buck. She's only with him for the, for the cash, bro. This is not her type. Pippin is not her type of dude, fam. I'm just keeping it a thousand with you. Scotty is not. Listen, that's not her type. And, and just because a woman have babies with you, bro, it doesn't mean she loves you, fam. A woman would have 10 babies for you, bro, and don't even respect you. It's for the bag, man, because she knows she going to be set for life. She knows she going to be set for life, bro. It's happening every day. The new hustle for women in today's day, guys, is to get pregnant by at least three guys. If she could get pregnant by at least three guys... She could collect child support from all of y'all. And she'll be straight to the point where she don't even have to go to work. Like real talk, y'all paying her, boom, she good. Some women, they get pregnant by four different guys, man. Got all you guys on child support, collecting a bag. And it's crazy because now she hustling y'all. She don't respect none of y'all, but she got babies out of you. You know, these are your children. And they busy taking all the money, man. This is why you guys, y'all got to be careful, man. 2024, you can't be playing around, man. I'm disgusted by the things that I'm seeing, man. It's depressing, fam. Seeing these type of things, man. Come on, man. For 20 years, this dude been banging this, this broad right here, having all these babies. And here you come, Marcus, taking the man's wife. Don't you know that's adultery, bro? Don't you know it's adultery to be with another man's wife? You think because they got a divorce that you good, bro? You're not good, fam. Even the Bible confirmed this, man. A woman is bound to her husband as long as her husband live. The only way you can marry that woman is if Scotty be dead. That's the only way. Scotty lives, bro. You got with his wife. That's adultery. So at the end of the day, Marcus Jordan been in an adulterous affair and laws of Pippin is an adulteress. These are just the facts. I know you don't like it. These are the facts, fam. That's why the relationship can't work because it's all sin. It's adultery. It's adultery. The dude was fucking another man's wife, bro. Come on, man. Stop getting mad at me. You know? And Jordan should have said something about it. Jordan Sr. He should have said something about this relationship. He should have pulled his son's coattail and said, what the fuck you doing, bro? What are you doing? It's my teammate's wife, bro. What are you doing with her, fam? Come on, man. There's no honor, yo. Jordan could have literally pulled up on his son and was like, yo, you can't talk to her, bro. Out of all women, not her. Let her go. Leave her alone. But no. He assigned his son to go out there and smash this dude's wife, bro. It's crazy, man. These streets, man. This is, this is, man. I tell you, man. Best advice I could give you, brothers, man, is never get married, bro. That's the best advice I could give you, bro. Don't do it, man. In this lifetime, fam, it's not worth it, bro. With all the advice I try to give women to get on point, bro, they don't give a fuck, bro. They do not care about nothing, bro. They not trying to be submissive. They not trying to listen to us, brothers. They only focusing on money. It's like we really wasting our time, bro. The best thing you could do as a man is focus on your what you do best as a man. 
do what you got to do and just just build yourself up man and know who you are as a man and don't be so quick to jumping into these relationships with these women man or you're going to end up like Pippin you're going to end up just like him fam do that woman look like she's taking that photo out of love fam the way she's dressed she's not dressed for Pippin man she's dressed for another man She's dressed for another man, fam. That's what that's what's going on here, fam. This is wild, man. This is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Man, oh man. Let's see what we got, man. Um uh... Okay. All right. So let me take this off the screen real quick, man. Because this is wild, bro. Absolutely wild. Let me see if TMZ saying anything about this. Let's see. Let me see what they saying. See if they got any news about this mess. Maybe there's some more dirt that's going on. Let me see. Uh, Pippin. See if anything comes up. Okay, looks like we got something. Oh, yeah, they talked about it today. Um, let's see what we got. All right, all right, let's see. Okay, that's the Spanish version. Trouble in Paradise. Spark breakup rumors with social media activity. Laura and Marcus appear to be headed towards Splitsville. All signs are pointing towards a breakup after the two unfollowed each other. Oh, here we go. Such a petty thing. Anytime people unfollow each other, it's, yo, social media is a trip, bro. Social media is funny, man. People unfollow each other. <laughs> it's funny, man. So everybody breaking up over the weekend, fam. It's like this this weekend, it's like, I don't know, man. It must have been a bunch of rituals going on, fam. Because like people breaking up and people getting married. <laughs> Usher allegedly smashed Swiss, Beat, Swiss Beat's wife and then got married after the Super Bowl. What you talking about, Willis? It says that Lorza and Marcus, the couple, also removed all pictures of each other on the social media app, indicating their kaput. Wow. So they started removing each other's photos. In other words, they don't want nobody to know that they were with each other, as if Google don't have photos with them together. <laughs> Neither, however, has publicly commented on the situation Though Lorza did write on a poll in her IG stories on Sunday evening, should your friends unfollow your ex? She also shared a quote about choosing a partner wisely. <laughs> that woman can never choose a good man because she's not a good woman. You know what I mean? She's not a good wo woman, fam. Jordan, meanwhile, seemed to spend... Super Bowl Sunday away from Lorza opting to watch the big game with his famous father instead. Hmm. Lorza and Marcus first ignited dating rumors way back in September 2022 when they were seen, seen hobnobbing around Miami at the time the two claimed to be just friends. Imagine this, fam. Let me put this on the screen, fam. Let me put this on the screen for you. It's crazy, bro. There's so much sin going on in this day. So much adultery and evil. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That dudes would literally go out here and get with another man's wife, put their soul at risk in order to do it. Check this out, fam. This is supposed to be Marcus and 
uh, Pippin's wife. Ain't that something, fam? Now, how do you go get with another man's wife and claim that y'all are just friends? Friends don't do this. I'm telling you, bro. Dude was fucking Pippin's wife the whole time. That's what she was missing. That is what Pippin wasn't giving her, fam. And a lot of women do this on the low key. You could be in a relationship with a woman dating or even married, bro. And she, she's not getting this from you. So even though she still allegedly love you, Allegedly. She still ain't getting this. So when you're not around, she'll go out there with the other dude so he could do this to her. And then she come back home to you. That's what's happening. That's what happening, fam. You know, that's what they be doing, bro. Let me see what's going on, man. Let's see. So, yeah, man, dude was definitely smashing Pippin's wife the whole time, man. And his pops knew. His pops had to know about this, man. There's no way that he didn't know about this. I just think that it's sad that Dude would even get with her, man. And that just proved that he was smashing Pippin's wife the whole time. I don't want to hear that she just met him. Dude always been screwing his wife low key. Always. You know? You heard she used to babysit him? Man, that's crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. This is wild, bro. Man, oh man. The way they with each other right there, man, he always been with her, bro. Always. And now it's over. You know why? Because she's tired of him. She's tired of him. It's not him. She's tired of him. She wants something new. She can never have enough. She's never satisfied, man. She want more. She wants something fresh and brand new. She already exhausted her energy. She took his energy, took his soul, and now she feels empowered. So she want another man now. She want another young guy to come in and teach her something different. You know? And he probably heartbroken. Because a lot of you guys, you be getting whipped. You be getting whipped. And when Shorty dump you, you be in her DMs crying. You be texting her, calling, begging, please, baby. You know? I know how that is, man. A lot of times you, you, you have a sister that you really like. You really want to be with her. Sometimes it do something to your heart, man. You know what I mean? You be in love or whatever you want to call it. You just, you, you, you don't want to let this woman go because... She give you something that that you really always wanted. And I can imagine, man, this guy is literally broken right now, man. He probably sitting in a corner drinking, smoking, and just kind of just, you know, going through it. He depressed right now. Somebody need to check in on him, fam. Somebody need to go check in on Marcus Jordan, man. Make sure he, he good, bro. Make sure he good, fam. Somebody send him a text, you know, because he hurting right now. He got dumped, you know. See, it, it hurts these guys when they get dumped because these guys got money. See, when you got money and a woman dump you, bro, that hurt. That hurt, man. It's one thing to be broke and don't really got no money and you get dumped by a woman. You don't really care. But to have money and a woman dump you, bro, that really that really will make you feel some type of way, man. Like, damn, man. This ain't cool, man. Um, Let me see. I don't know, man. What say you, man? What say you on this one, man? Because this is just depressing, man. These guys, these guys are an embarrassment 
to us brothers, man. So, hey, moral of the story is this, guys. Don't get married, bro. Don't do it. Um, say no to marriage. Um, if you're just going to deal with a woman, deal with her fam because these ladies don't want to be wives, bro. They want to be 304s. That's, that's the way I see it, fam. It's like I try to give all these ladies the benefit of the doubt, try to speak some sense to them. They don't want none of that, bro. They want to be 304s, bro. They want to get their back blown out. You know what I mean? They want to be on Lonely Fans. They want to be on on Instagram. They want to be playing the streets. This, this is what they want, man. They don't, they don't want to settle down. They don't want a man leading them. They don't, they don't want family. They just want to have babies out of wedlock, get the bag, child support, take girl trips, get a Birkin bag. That's what they want, man. You know? This is just not the right time for marriage. You know what I mean? It's just not the right time. I'm surprised Usher got married, allegedly. <laughs> it says it was confirmed by People magazine that Usher is married. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I don't get it. Like, he got married, they split up. <laughs> Life is a revolving door, man. You know? There is no hope right now, fam. Women are gonna, are gonna literally get their backs blown out. Um, there's gonna be a lot of orders for Rose toys, um, XXX toys. A lot of women got them. Um, the, the way society is going right now, everything is going AI. So women are going to be having SEX with AI. Men are going to be getting XXX dolls. Um, you're going to be using like virtual, uh, like these things. Apple came out with some, some device. Um, what do you call them things? You put them on like some space age stuff with the gargles, whatever. And I can see it now. Dudes are going to be, uh, there's going to be like virtual, like virtual XXX games where when you put on the goggles, right, there's going to be a woman in front of you giving you head as you beat your meat. Like some, some weird old crazy stuff. <laughs> Literally, fam, like this is what's going to be happening, man. This is scary stuff. You're going to literally put on the virtual glasses and they're going to probably call it like uh, the beat your meat experience where you beat your meat. But as you doing it. Right. In other words, when you put on the goggles, as you doing it, you see a woman giving you head. <laughs> or you see a, like it appears like you're blowing a woman's back out. <laughs> this is how sick it is, fam. I'm trying to add humor to it, but this is how sick society is. They create this technology. They create these toys to keep us separated so that we have population control. They don't want us multiplying. Man, it's so, it's so, so bad right now, bro. It's crazy how all over social media you get nothing but relationship advice, but nobody's in a relationship. <laughs> Ain't that something? All over social media you get nothing but relationship advice, but there are no relationships. Nobody's getting married. Nobody's building families, but everybody got relationship advice. You know? Am I saying you can't have a long-term relationship with a woman? Of course you can. Don't get married by the state. Don't ever do that. And um, don't be too quick to jump into a relationship with a woman because chances are she's only there with you because of some money. Again, if you don't got no money and a woman is willing to get with you and rock with you, you got, you got a good woman, bro. If a woman is willing to be with you, even though you don't got everything the way you need to have it, that's a good woman. If a woman want to get with you when you have everything... That's a bad woman, bro. These are signs that you, it should be common sense to you. Why, why do women find guys that got money attractive? Because of the money. Take the money away, they don't care. Take the money away, she won't respect you. 
She won't even want to have nothing to do with you if you don't got the money. She won't want to talk to you. She won't even want to have SEX with you if the money ain't there. Don't you know the more money you have, the more likely she would have SEX with you? It's not because she's horny. It's not because she wants some D. It's because she's trying to please you in order to get the money. When a woman is really feeling you, feeling you, and she's excited, fam, she's wet automatically. She want to have SEX all the time, all the time. Like every time she's around you, she, she just want to get it in because she's really, really into you. But if you got money and she's trying to show like she's into you, it's not because she really want you. It's the money. You know, you could look at these photos with uh, Pippin and this woman, and you know she's not really feeling, dude. You know she's really not. But anything to get that bag, anything to get the bag. While he's out of town at a game, she's busy fucking some other guy. That's just how it goes down, bro. I know you don't want to hear the bad news, but this is what it is, man. This is what's going on. I know it's tough, but that's what's happening. When he's out and about, he feel like he's the man, but everybody in the room know that his wife is a 304. That's the thing about the game, bro. That's why, that's why the game is dirty. That's how you know the game is rigged. Because a lot of us guys, right, we, we will get with a woman and we'll be in the street flexing with her, right? Walking around. And while we walking around, Everybody else know that your wife or your girl is a 304. Like, they know the team, the team know that they got head from your wife. You just don't know. But they know. The guys on the block, we standing there. We don't really want to make you feel, feel bad, but your woman gave us head already. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's just like when, when your girl go to work on the nine to five grind, the brothers already got your woman. You know? I know it's tough. You don't want to hear it. I, I get it. But your woman was on her knees at work. I'm just. You want her to go to the nine to five, right? You want her to be around all the dogs? You want her to be around all these guys? Okay, cool. Trust and believe, bro. They watching your woman. Oh, they waiting, bro. They can't wait. They doing the Birdman hand rub, bro. They waiting for your woman. A lot of these ladies, bro, when they get on the 9 to 5, they be getting it in. They be doing their thing, man. You know? I got a lot of stories, fam. I know a lot of mess, a lot of dirt. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff went down, man. Things I've seen, man, it'll make you give up hope, bro. You'll be like, nah, man, she really did that? That's exactly what she did, bro. Couldn't believe it. You got women that will be on the job, bro, give you head, right? And then when they clock out, their man come pick them up, bro, from work. And we seeing the dude pick her up. Picking her up in the car and, you know, she go out, give him a nice hug and a kiss. And we looking at this in, in disgust and we shaking our head like this, like, like, damn, bro. Like Shorty was just doing X, Y, and Z, man. And dude is over there in love. Don't even know his woman's a 304, bro. It's sad. It's a sad game, man. The game is... The game is tough, man, but it is what it is, man. It's why you got you to gotta keep your woman at home. And even if you keep your woman at home from the 9 to 5, she's still probably fucking somebody else. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Because you never really know. Because, see, women... See, as a man, you have intuition to know when your woman is getting plugged by some other dude, too. Don't let, don't let women make you think that women are the only one with intuition to know. No, there are signs to know that your woman taking D. There are signs, bro. 
Trust and believe. A lot of us guys, we know the signs. We just don't care. A lot of you guys, you already know your woman taking D probably for some other dude. And you know, but you just don't, you ain't tripping. You're just like, man, fuck it. I don't really care, man. I'm not even tripping out here. You just kind of just doing your thing. You're just like, I don't care no more. You know? But it is what it is, man. You know? How if she's always home? Well, she got to go outside. <laughs> See, when I say home, I'm talking about home, meaning that she's not at a nine to five. You know what I mean? Home like that. But obviously she got to go outside to do errands. You know what I mean? Got to run to the store, got to do this. You know what I mean? Uh, do a lot of different things outdoors. You know what I mean? So in the process of her going outdoors, that's when she go get the D. <laughs> you know? And she could always come back and say, oh, I was shopping. I was doing this. I was doing that. And, you know, us brothers, we foolish. We believe it. <laughs> you know? Let me see. Um, let me see. Da -da -da. Um, at Ringo TV, a wise man told me that there ain't no such thing as brotherhood when it comes to women. If he gets the opportunity to hit, he will. That's true. That's true. That is true. That's why it's dangerous, fam. The game is really dangerous. A dude will fuck your woman, bro. No, no talk, no spit. Listen, a dude will come around you, see you with your woman, size her up, and in his mind, he already done, you know what I mean? Size your woman up. He ain't gonna tell you. But if your woman was to come to him and kind of give him some play, oh yeah. He'll definitely smash your woman. That's right. Yes, he will. He will he'll do that. He'll smash your woman, bro. He'll fuck your woman from the back, balls deep, right? And then nut in your woman on purpose just because he know that that's your woman. And he'll send her back on home to you. And a lot of you ladies, y'all be doing this and y'all nasty, you know what I mean? Y'all don't have no shame. And, hey, it's sad, man. You go right back home to your man and you act like you in love, like you really got respect for dude, bro. It's a real sick world we live in, fam. Real sick. It's sick. Don't get mad with me. I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just a messenger, man. That's it. You know what I mean? I'm just doing this content. There's what it is. I'm just reporting the news. People keep getting mad at me. So another one bites the dust. Laws of Pippin and Marcus Jordan split after more than a year of dating. And dating in, in today's modern day literally means fucking. So whenever you hear anybody say they dating, that means that they fucking. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. He's going to find another woman. She's going to get some new D. And uh, it is what it is, man. He got the leftovers. Um, I don't know. I don't know who broke up with who. But knowing her record, she most likely got rid of him to move on with the next guy. Because that's how they do it, fam. And trust and believe. By her splitting with Marcus, she already got another man already. You do understand that, right? Remember, guys, always know the game. When your girl is breaking up with you, the new guy is already there. She's not single looking for a new guy the new guy is already there there's a placeholder sitting there there's a guy on the shelf that she was already with as soon as you go out the door she moved a new man in that's how it goes man y'all keep getting mad at me man wasting your time getting mad at me Keep living. You're going to experience the things that I'm talking about. Then you're going to learn. Keep living. You know? So, guys, no state marriage. Right? Say no to state marriage contracts. Um, don't buy no engagement rings. Don't buy no wedding bands for none of these women. 
You don't need that, bro. Who told you you got to buy that? You don't need that. Um, No dinner dates. Don't take none of these women to no restaurant talking about, oh, I'm paying for this and paying. No, 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 no. If a woman won dinner, the way it got to go down, bro, is you got to keep it a stack. You got to keep it official. You got to stand on business. How do you stand on business? Is how you do it as a man. If a woman is really true and she really rocking with you, bro, and you the only dude she really kicking it with, she'll more than likely cook for you. And she won't have no problem doing it. The reason why a lot of women ain't really with it is because, number one, they dating multiple guys. So for her to cook for you means she would have to cook for him, too. So you got to be an exceptional man in her eyes for her to even do these things. So the way I see it is rather than spending money on a dinner date, wasting time, uh, you and her need to work something out where she's going to cook for you. And what I recommend is that you take a date with her to the supermarket or to uh, your local Trader Joe's or some sort of store or, you know, wherever and buy the groceries and... You know, I don't got no problem doing that. See, if I'm buying the groceries as a man, I think that that to me is the least I can do if I know that this woman is going to cook for me. See, I'm not I'm not requesting a woman to cook for me and I'm not willing to buy the groceries for her to cook. You get what I'm saying? So rather than spending it on a dinner date, wasting your money, eating somebody else's food, you need to make sure that this woman can cook for you. Because if she can't, how could she be a wife, bro? You know? How could she be a wife? Come on now. There's nothing wrong with a date at Trader Joe's. Go to Trader Joe's. You know what I'm saying? Go over there, get yourself some stuff. You know, some organic chicken, whatever the case is. Get the veggies, get the potatoes. You know? Go shopping with the woman. That's your date. Pick up the groceries, drop them off at her crib, right? You go back to yours. It is what it is. Let her get herself situated. And, you know, when she start cooking, whatever the case is, you call them up. But like, yo, I'm in the crib. I'm cooking. You could come on over. You know what I'm saying? Listen to some music, watch some TV, have some drinks while you cooking. You know what I mean? He come to the crib, open the door, smelling good. You there cutting up the onions. You know what I mean? He could come by the stove, play around with you while you fixing stuff, you seasoning. He come up from behind you like how Usher did Alicia Keys. You know what I'm saying? And he could be fooling around with you while you cooking. And, you know, a little play play, a little foreplay, you know. And, and you know, you got the music playing. TV is on. Got the scented candles going. I mean, the vibe is right. Everything looks good. You in a nice outfit, comfortable in your house. I mean, it's just a good vibe. And that's that's to me, that's the way a date is supposed to be. But see, these women are dating multiple men, and you guys have spoiled them into taking them to dinners. And you just wasting your money, bro. And a lot of you guys are suckers. You continually get played like this every single day. Taking women out. It's a waste of time. They get mad at me. They like, oh, you broke. That's why you don't want to take no woman out. No, I'm not stupid. I'm never taking no woman out to no dinner date, bro. What the fuck I look like taking you on a dinner date? For what? In a noisy restaurant, when I'm trying to know you, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to figure you out. I don't want to be in no damn restaurant listening to all this noise, eating some old mess that I don't know who made it back there. No, I need to know that you're a woman and that you're wife material. How about that? See, a lot of you ladies, you ain't thinking like that because your grandma and your ma never taught you how to cook. And that's why you don't got no man right now. <sighs> I'm telling you, man, it's really bad out here. It's really, really bad right now, bro. Yeah, people still do dinner dates in 2024, man. People still be taking these women to these places, bro. Let me see. Um, let 
Nah, don't even go through. The, don't even go through the drive-through, bro. Don't take these women nowhere, fam. See, this is the thing, guys. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta make the. See, how many of y'all over here have? How many dog owners do we got in the building, man? How many dog owners do we got in the building? How many? How many people are dog owners in the building? If you're a dog owner, you got to train your dog, fam. Now, I know a lot of these women, they don't like hearing the term train. But when you go to your nine to five, don't you got to train? Don't you got to take training in order to understand the job title? Don't you undergo training? When you on that job, first time you got that job, didn't they take you through a training process? So what makes you think that as a woman, there's no training process when it comes to being a wife or, or being a helpmate? What makes you think that you could just walk in a man's life and you don't know nothing? And but you expect to us to just take your take you at your your face value. No, you got to undergo training. And the thing is, a lot of women don't have no training on being in a relationship. They don't even know how to talk to a man. They don't even know how to be around a man. And this is why we got so many problems today. You know, I'm tired of the mess, bro. Tired of it, man. Our people are just being destroyed left and right, bro. We ain't building no family structure. We ain't building wealth. All we doing is just existing in the matrix struggling so hey we're gonna get up one out of here man it is what it is man nobody ain't listening to what i gotta say bro so hey that's about that man let me see because uh, i don't think i shouted at anybody out on the cash app man let me make sure i shout everybody out you know because this particular situation man guys dating people exes can't do that mess man that's sick that's really sick bro let me see what we got here <clears throat> okay um give a few shout outs here all righty now you know the drill um if you watch the previous streams, we shouting out the uh, cash apps, but we not shouting out the amount that you gave. Because we have too many pocket watches that be tallying up what you get, and they try to compare it to this or that or compare it to themselves. It's a lot of pocket watching, man. Like, people, it's some sick people, man. I don't, I don't know where they get this mindset from, but it's really sick. I don't like it. So we just shouting names, man. We shouting names, right? Okay. Uh, let me see. Shout out to, shout out to Scourge. Scourge, I believe the name is. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing or Scrooge. Scrooge, Scrooge. I believe the name is Scrooge. Shout out to you for for your support. Appreciate you. Right. Revolutionary Loss, appreciate you. Uncle, shout out to Uncle. Beverly, Jafar, Aaron, Sherelle, Asoa of Seed, Keith, Sherelle again, Dion, um, is it Varus? Is it Varus or Varis? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but shout out to you for the support. Um, let me see. Had not. Uh, salute. Diane. Leonard. Appreciate you for your support. Um, somebody had asked me for email contact. I don't give out no emails. Um, you want to contact, you can do that via Instagram. I don't trust nobody. That's just me keeping it a thousand. I don't trust nobody when it comes to emails. 
emails, people do dirty things, and I ain't about to have that happen. Want to contact me? You can do so via Instagram. You can say whatever you need to say there. Other than that, ain't going to be no emails given out to nobody. You know what I mean? Just keeping it a thousand. So that being said, um, let me make sure I shouted everybody out. Because, you know, I don't want to leave nobody out. I think I got everybody. Because sometimes you could support the show and your 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 support don't even go through it can it comes through 10 minutes later you know but um yeah going to get up on out of here man i don't know man we're literally in a bad time bro we're literally in a bad time man for most of us um we're going to end up dying and never really have any sort of relationships or anything like that it's sad, but this is the forecast. I know it's difficult to understand, but you're in that generation where you're just not going to have no success relationship wise. Um, you might be intimate with people here and there, but that's pretty much as far as it's going to go. You're not going to really be in anything long term because uh, it's people in today's day don't want long term relationships. They just want to get it in. And that's about it. You know, people get excited about getting it in. But when it comes to long-term success they don't really see that as a possibility so it's kind of discouraging but at the same time it doesn't mean you can't but the only way you're gonna the only way you're gonna be in a successful relationship is gonna have to follow my advice but you don't want that remember you don't want my advice you want to follow um these relationship gurus advices that's the advice you want you don't want sound advice that work you want advice that's going to keep you dumbed down so it is what it is. So y'all take care, man. Peace and blessings to the mods in the chat, everybody in the building. Um, we put out a lot of work today, fam. Like, I don't know how many videos I did today, fam. I did a lot of different content. Now, if I could do content like that all the time, that'd be good. You know what I mean? I mean, there's going to come a time where I'm going to be doing content like I'm crazy. Like, literally, I'm going to be doing content all day, all night, all day. Like, energetic-wise. But um, that's when I get out of New York. You know what I mean? I, there's a lot of things that I got to do behind the scenes. So I appreciate everybody supporting the platform, man. You know, really appreciate the support, people supporting, rocking with the work that we do here. Um, these are some tough times, man. Really, really tough times. And people are still playing church. You know? They still playing church right now, thinking that they have another 20 years to waste. I don't understand that, man. So, guys, focus on you, bro. Focus on your, your talent, man. Focus on developing you. And in the process of doing that, you're going to have thirsty women that's going to come to you because they're trying to get your bag. And in the process, they're going to get their back blown out. And they don't get them none of your bag, bro. You know? Don't give them nothing, bro. They're going to come to you because of... Your success that you're getting. Anytime women want to cling on to you when the success come, just know that she's not a good woman. But she's going to come there. You're, you're going to end up smashing. But don't take her serious because she wasn't there to help you to get there, bro. That's what a lot of you ladies don't realize. A lot of y'all ladies be effing up. Y'all don't realize y'all not even helping these brothers to get to that level of success. Y'all want the brother when he's already there. I wouldn't give a fuck about a woman, bro, if I had to build everything and get to a certain level where I'm a multimillionaire or just get in the bag like crazy and then she want to come in. Fam, I don't fucking need her, bro, because at the end of the day, I already established everything already. So she's not even of no use to me. So at that point, I can't trust her. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? Like, think about what I'm saying here, because I'm spitting real talk. If I had to do all this work, get all my documents together, build up this, get that, get that. This woman ain't, a, she ain't assist with nothing that you're doing, bro. And then after you reach to that level, you now eating, you winning, you getting bread, you making moves. Now she want to be a part of the show? Nah, man. Can't do it, bro. 
can't do it because I know the only reason why she there is because she saw something that looks attractive. That's why she's there. She's not there because she want to help. You already got the success. So why would she help you now? A woman's test is to be with that man when that man didn't have the bag, bro. When he didn't have it and she was there using her gifts and talents to assist you, that is the woman you keep on your team. That's the woman you take care of, man. That's the woman that when you really start making it, bro, you always have that woman's back, bro, because she was there in the sandbox when you were there, bro. Real talk, man. Are you saying she probably was trying to get to Michael Jordan, but what do you think, like, probably try to get with the son? I don't know. Probably. But I doubt it. I don't think, I don't really think so. I think that she always wanted Marcus on a low key, you know, because getting with Jordan would be a bad move. It would be a bad look. But I mean, damn, getting with Jordan's son, that's even worse. <laughs> you know? Oh, you're talking about um, the son? It's crazy, man. Anyway, y'all, we're going to get up on out of here, man. I'm going to go get me something to eat and watch some movies on Netflix. <laughs> I'm going to go watch some Netflix, bro. Yo, I got a lot of stuff to do, bro. Like, you don't understand, man. I got so many things to do, man. It's unbelievable, fam. Like, I got a lot of things to do, bro. Man, oh, man. You know what I want to know, man? I know I'm not the only one that go through this as a content creator. How many of you content creators, man, like your desktop computer is just flooded with a bunch of shit? <laughs> like literally, like video clips, images, screenshots, and it's just a flood of garbage because you're doing content so much that you're screenshotting this, grabbing this video, getting this, and it's like you just throw it on your desktop and you, because, you know, content comes and goes and comes and goes, and so much so, it's like your entire desktop is just flooded with a bunch of shit, bro. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one, bro. Can't be. Can't be the only one, bro. And it's not, it's not even like you working sloppy. It's just so much work that, I mean... Like, I literally got to clean the desktop, bro. It's, like, flooded with, like, a thousand video clips, a thousand screenshots, a thousand thumbnails. <laughs> nah, you can't make folders, fam. Not, no, you can't make folders doing this work, bro. Nah. <laughs> not, not with the consistency that I have put in our content. Can't do that. It ain't going to work. It's too much content. Too much content, fam. I be screen recording stuff, downloading video clips, doing all sorts of stuff, man. Thumbnails. You know what I mean? I, I, I can make thumbnails on the fly when I'm, you know, in the mood to design, you know. But uh, most of the time, I'll just grab an image and just throw on a video real quick. <laughs> you know? Um, Let me see. Da, 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 da. Um, what do we got here? Okay, man, we're going to get up on out of here, man. Y'all be safe. It is what it is. Um, Y'all stay safe out there. Ringo TV reactions. I'm going to go get me something to eat, watch a movie, and just chill, bro. <laughs> I don't got no more time, man. So, these type of stories, man. So all we hear is break up, people breaking up. <laughs> we don't hear no success stories, man. <laughs> and you notice that, man? You don't hear no success stories with relationships, bro. Man. 
This is out of this world, bro. Let's see what we got, man. Um, yo, Mr. Ringo, an ad just popped up about a new horror movie called Tarot. What a coincidence. And it's a scary movie. Um, they don't make scary movies like they used to. They don't make them like they used to. Back in the days, they made scary movies. Good good movies that was really, really good. I don't know. I haven't seen a, a movie today that's actually... I mean, maybe maybe y'all can recommend one. Is there, Are there any movies on Netflix that you would, would consider um, scary? You know? I mean, what would slow down your computer is not really having a lot of stuff on it it's when your computer have no gigabytes left if your computer have no gigabytes left like it's low on 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 space and um yeah that will slow down your system tremendously and if you have a bunch of stuff on your desktop like if your desktop is cluttered it will make your computer act up i have to invest in a new computer right now um, I don't want to get it right now, but I'm really thinking about buying it. Um, I want to buy a fully loaded Mac Pro desktop, but I'm kind of on the fence because Apple, Apple is always updating and I don't want to jump the gun and get it. And then they update to something new. I cannot stand when they do that, fam. I cannot stand when they do. I might just hold off because I got um I got the Mac Studio. I got the Mac Studio and it's pretty good, right? The Mac Studio is good, but the thing is I would prefer the desktop because you can use um what you call them PCI whatever cards or whatever in the world that is. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Like you could put your own cards in and whatnot. And the thing is with Elgato, they have one that you can use. I think it's the Cam Link something, whatever. And I think it gives you four slots for cameras. So I'm not sure how many buses the Mac Pro desktop have, but what a lot of content creators don't know, I don't think a lot of them know these secrets. But um, when it comes to when it comes to your camera setup, right? Let's say if you're a content creator and you're struggling with your camera setup, you need to understand buses on your on your computer, right? The more buses you have, the more cameras you can have at the same exact time. If not, your cameras are gonna lag, right? If you have um, if you have three buses, you know, you can only really have three cameras. You can try to add more, but they're going to lag. In other words, when you're doing a live show and you're talking, your mouth is not going to be in sync with the audio. So this is why buses on a computer is very important. Now, I believe on, on this Mac studio over here, I think I got about seven buses on this one. And the one back there, I think it's about eight or nine buses on that Mac studio. So that determines how many cameras you can have at the same time. But then again, if you use up all your buses, you're limiting yourself even more because now you need to have other inputs for other devices that might use uh, Thunderbolt or uh, USB-C or whatever the case is. So now the Mac Pro desktop will give you the maximum amount of flexibility when it comes to having a multicam studio. And that's pretty much what um, I'm looking for right now. You know, um, I want to get it, but like I said, Apple... Apple keep changing these computers, man. 
and I don't want to I don't want to invest and then end up regretting it. Those of you those of you who know what I'm talking about, you buy a computer from Apple and next minute they come out with the new M3 or the the new laptop and you're sitting there pissed off that you just spend like 4 grand and now they come out with the latest tech. You know, it's depressing, man. Nobody likes to be spending money like that. I this is like I'm literally on the Apple website right now. I'm looking on the Apple website right now. I haven't been on the Apple website in probably five months, like four or five months. This, I'm now tuning into that this website now, and the whole website has changed. Look like they got all new computers. They have this three thousand uh, dollar glasses gargles whatever this is let me check out their computers see what's going on yeah they changed around their whole website um let me see mac pro desktop mac pro desktop let's see what we got starting price six thousand no seven thousand um let's see what we got um let me click buy now and see what we have here configure all right you would want to max everything out gigabytes because i'm going to be using it I, all right this is what i'm trying to do I'm trying to build because like in this entire studio, like I said, when I get out of New York, I'm going to have everything updated. I'm going to upgrade everything again. What I'm trying to do is build a system that's for video and music. That's what I'm trying to do, because if, if I max out a Mac Pro desktop like like what I'm seeing here, it can be a video production music studio and a live stream studio all in one one power box with everything that way i don't have to have a million computers all over the place i got computers everywhere and it's it's a little complicated i mean you it's good to have them because you're able to do other things but it's just me working you know what i mean now if i had the assistance of other people, then now they can do things on other systems and whatnot in terms of getting thumbnails, chopping videos, and so on and so forth. This is a business, and it requires a lot that goes into it. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, so this computer maxed out... Uh, I don't really need to install Final Cut Pro or Logic because I have it already. All I need to do is just transfer it to the computer. But sometimes you want to start off fresh. So let me just kind of install that in. So this entire system. Uh, let me see. Do you need wheels on it? I don't need no wheels. Totally maxed out, right? This entire computer totally maxed out is 12000 $298. $12,298. Now that's pretty good compared to the prices of older generation of, of Apple products. That's pretty that's pretty decent to have a maxed out system. You know what I mean? But now are you going to use all that power? Because the even though it's maxed out, you'll be able to see it only if you're doing certain things like 4K video, 8K video production, stuff like that, then you'll see the benefits. Or if you're doing intense rendering, graphics, um, you know, photo editing, things like that, you'll really get the benefits. The thing about Apple that I don't like is when you spend that amount of money and then next year or whatever, they got the new and improved. Like right now with this particular Apple system, they up to the M2 Ultra chip. But even though they got the M2 Ultra chip, 
I mean, they got the Mac Pro laptops. I believe it has the M3 chip. So it's like, you know, you got a, pow a more powerful chip in the laptops. It just makes it confusing, man. It's like, which one is better? And then you get all these benchmark tests people do all over YouTube. I'm tired of those tests, man. Because it just confuses people. Let me see what they up to with the Mac Studio. Let me see what they up to with the Mac Studio. They still on M2? Still on the M... I mean, the M2 processor is still good. Still powerful. I'm just looking for an all-in-one system that I can have everything installed, all my apps, all my production stuff, everything all in one, you know what I mean? In one system, all my graphic editing, all my, everything is installed and I can have an organized system because I ain't going to lie, like with all the systems I have, it's really all over the place. And I don't like that. I want everything to be totally organized that I can literally do what I need to do. Like, for example, let's say, let's say I wanted to use this one camera to do, do content. The Mac Pro, the Mac Pro could be on that side of the studio. But when I come on this side, I'm controlling that computer from over there but i'm here you get it and if i want to go multi-cam on this side it's still controlling the computer over there and if i want to do music i'm over there and it's all on one that one computer that's i'm trying to simplify the production i'm trying to make it where it's like all in one for example like i don't think people understand how serious this is on this side here, I got a whole stream deck. Y'all already know this already. So if I need new sound effects over here, I gotta get a get one of these 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 drives that I got. I don't want to move anything because sometimes these wires be tripping. But I gotta get one of these drives and transfer the sound effects from this side. Let's say I got sound effects here, right? Let's say if I want to get this sound, right? but I don't got it over there. I got to now move that over there. I don't want to be doing that. I want to have one system that when I come over here, I can control that from over there. Because to be honest, the Rodecaster Pro, the new one can control, you can use it on two computers. You can use it on two computers. So technically, I can have these two roadcasters connected to the same computer and go live and it's all in one system. I think that that's the best option. That's why I'm looking at investing in that setup. Because when you're doing this type of work, man, you got to keep upgrading. You can't stay the same. You know? And with the way I am, I like to just go max out. In other words just upgrade to the max that's it in other words as as much as many options the computer give you just buy the best of the best of the best that's it end the story i don't like to waste time trying to figure it out when you configure in a, a system mm -mm. i just like to put everything in the cart and buy it You know what I mean? I'm a Mac guy. That's it. I don't I don't use Windows computers. If I were to, probably be for gaming. But when it comes to music and all of that stuff, I use pr pretty much all Apple, um, you know, software and stuff like that. Logic, Final Cut, you know. Um, let me see. Um, I need a new computer too, but I don't know what to get. I need something portable and that takes great pictures for my eBay. Um, 
You said Creep Show 1 and 2 is on Netflix. I mean, that ain't really scary, but you know, I mean, the old Creep Show had some some laughs to it. I'll check it out if it is. But yeah, that's one of the big investments that I got to invest in. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it now, like I said, but I got to do it. Because it 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 will help my production. Because that's all I be doing is I be putting the bread back into what I do. And um, I'm trying to simplify the production. Like I'm going to invest in the Mac Pro desktop setup as well as um, another Mac Pro um, laptop so that I can be portable and have the main system in the in the studio i mean in a studio you should have at least two computers there are one two one two three four five six computers in here six computers in here and the thing is all of them have a different task all of them have a different task for example, one computer is doing all of my monitor effects that you see. One computer is doing that. You know, like, for example, the monitors, you know, there, back here, you know, and over there. And then you have over here and over here and in front of me, that's six monitors one computer is driving those monitors, you know, because you cannot have the computer you're streaming on doing all of that work. So you have one dedicated computer that the only purpose is for running that video. That's that, you know. And um, if you want to... If you want to run the video in 4K resolution, you could do that as well. But uh, to me, it's not really necessary because it's not like nobody's seeing it. So I run it in 1080p, you know. But um, once I get the new studio done, um, it's going to be beyond this world. And I'm not necessarily talking about, like, um, a new studio, like, when I get out of here. I'm talking about when I get the house house, like, owning the house. Like, that, that studio is going to be amazing. Because I already have it drawn up. I already have it drawn up. I have the plans. I know exactly how I'm going to have everything. Um, the way it's going to look, the way things are going to be done. It's going to be futuristic. Um, it's going to be very, very nice. It's going to be, it's going to be like a tech, a tech heaven. And it's going to, it's going to only inspire creativity. And that's the real goal. So, cause remember all of these things is tools. They're all tools. That's how you do your job. And if you're not comfortable it prevents you from really working. You should be able to, as a content creator, you're supposed to be able to jump and fly and do content like this. You're supposed to have the right tools, you know? And that's what I'm trying to put together to make sure that everything is good. Like a lot of y'all, y'all look at the setup, right? You look at when I do the multicam setup and Y'all be like, wow, that's dope, that's fly, but that's nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, like, to me, to me, it's garbage, bro. Like, this is nothing, fam. Like, this is not even, this is not even at the level that I want it to be. You know what I mean? To you, you know, it looks dope. I understand. It do look dope when it's on camera. You know what I mean? But it's not, it's not at the level. <laughs> the level where I'm seeing in my mind, nobody on YouTube ain't going to be doing it, bro. Like, I'm serious, fam. The, 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 
Like I said, I got my plans. I got the layout, have everything already done, drawn up, bro. I know how it's going to look. It's going to be dope as heck, bro. And I can't wait. You know? Um, Let's see what we got, man. What's a good webcam to use? Use an SLR cam. Don't buy no regular webcam. They're garbage. Buy yourself an SLR and use your SLR as a webcam. That's what you need. All webcams is trash. You know? I'm serious. All webcams is trash. I mean, some of them look good, but it depends on what you what you doing it, what you using it for. Like if you're using it to podcast, don't use no regular cheap webcam. Get yourself an SLR and use it as a webcam. You know? Um How do you transfer big files, videos to different computers? Save them on an SSD. You save them on an SSD. That's it. I don't keep nothing on no computer. I keep everything on SSD drives. You buy those four terabyte SSD drives and uh, you download your videos. You save your videos on that. So like, let's say, for example, you download content videos you're going to react to. You put them on a SSD. And um, if you're doing your own videos, you know, you create your folders, you know, shorts, videos, live streams, and then you you do your content. And when you edit your videos, you throw them in that folder. You don't really keep it on the computer. You use your external drives for that. You know, you want to keep the computer clean in terms of hard drive space. You want to use all external hard drive space. Don't use up your main internal drive. And always use SSDs. Thunderbolt. You know, don't don't focus on those traditional drives with the spinning disk because those drives are going to all fail you. I had many drives fail me and I literally cried, bro. Like literally, like a baby cry. You know how much stuff I lost, man? <laughs> I lost hundreds of songs, um, baby pictures of my daughters. Uh, you, you name it, I lost a lot of data, man, with them older hard drives. Them things is it's dangerous, man. You know? Just put your stuff on an SSD. Back it up. I don't really trust those those cloud services. I never trusted that tech. I still don't. Like, you know, like putting stuff in the clouds. I don't trust that stuff, man. You might still, you might use that. Not me. That's the technology I'm concerned with. I always felt that somebody can breach that and, and get in and gain access to your stuff. So, like, who's watching that cloud? Who's... Who's to say somebody else ain't tampering with that? You know? Um, somebody said, Ringo, breaking news. OBG is with Kim Kardashian. What you talking about, Willis? When will we get a break? I'm telling you, man, this is getting bad out here, fam. <laughs> Yo, why, what's going on with these people, man? Yo, this is crazy, man. Ah, oh, man. Fam, I'm going to watch me a movie, bro. I'm going to watch me. That's tomorrow's news, man. Or I might come back on later on tonight, fam. I might. I might. Oh, 
Or I might, I might post that on the Ringo TV Raw channel. I might talk about that, fam. I might do that, fam. Because let me let me take a screenshot because there's so many, it's so many different things I gotta talk about. It's I'm gonna end up forgetting. So I gotta make sure, you know, what it is. Uh let me see. Also, what camera is best for live stream? I have Sony AS72. It shuts out at 30 minutes. I'm wondering how to record as long as an hour. You saying your camera shut down at 30 minutes? What do you mean like with an with a card in it or it overheats? What 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 exactly cuz you said it shut down. Is it overheating or something else like what exactly is going on because a lot of people may not understand what you mean by shut down? Wait, it, it shuts out at 30 minutes. I'm wondering how to record as long as an hour. Camera's supposed to be able to record. See, here's the thing, fam. Let me see if I can, um, hold on a second. Let me see if I could do something real quick. Just hold on a second. Be right back. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, so let me see what he said. Um, Cause somebody said, a what? Let me see, hold up, is my phone on? What in the world? Hold on a second. Oh, something different. Um, sounds like something else is playing. Thought I heard something else. Okay. Um, where we at? Where we at? Okay. Said uh, also, what camera is best for live? Because I know the AS7 II that should be good enough for lives. You know. I mean, the camera that I'm using right now for live streaming, fam, is um, when the world is this camera? The Sony A, what is this? Sony A6400. This is a Sony A6400, fam. Sony A6400 with a G Master lens. <laughs> That's right. And you see the quality that, that I'm getting? Your A7 should be able to give you good quality. Great quality for live streaming. See, a lot of people don't understand. It's not so much about the cameras, how to use the camera. You know, you got to know how to use the camera and put in the proper set, uh, settings so that the camera can give you the best possible results. Everybody be wanting the, the latest and greatest camera and... Um, you don't really need all of that extra stuff. You just need to know how to use what you have. You know, that's the main thing. Um, Sony a seven two. That camera's about a thousand on B and H. Um, let me see. Oh, you have an A7 II. Okay. But well, that camera used to be like around 1500 They got it on sale now for like $998. They used to be about $1,600 for that. You know? Let me see. They still have the, the Canon, I mean the Sony A6400. And it's still $998. And it's a it's a great camera. It is a great camera for live streaming. And it's a great camera for shooting, uh, you know, high res video. You know, it all depends on what you're looking for. But um, 
the camera that that I pretty much have here. This is a um, it's a Sony a Sony FX3. This is the rig that I'm putting together now, and it uses you know these like this particular device here is the Ninja Five. With that, you're recording from your uh let me see from your hdmi out going into here and you're getting longer videos so you're going to be able to record and um you don't have to worry about the internal cards or any of that other stuff because you're recording directly on this this is what you're recording on these particular ssd drives right here the battery go over here and you know, you have your lens or your Sony lens, your G Master lens. So this particular rig here, this is crazy. So I'm still hooking it up, trying to perfect it. I got to get like the, um, the cage, the cage for it. We're going to get the cage, the hand um, grip part, um, you know, a few other things to kind of make it work and do what we need to do. But um, this particular camera right here will give you movie quality production. You could literally do real films right with this camera, you know? Okay, it's a cinema camera, it says it right there. Let me see. I'm not sure if you can see it. It says cinema. Hold on, wait a minute. I don't wanna make this thing drop. Yeah, right there. Cinema line. Right? So that's pretty much that with that. Right? So you can, for live streaming, like I said, the A6400 is, is a good camera. Um, for live streaming. I mean, it's just live streaming. It's not like you're live streaming in 4K. You're live streaming in 1080p. Going in 4K is a waste of time because a lot of people don't even have a system that can view 4K content like that, especially live, you know. But um, to record in 4K, that's going to be the next setup that I'm pretty much looking into. The next setup, the setup that I'm building, that I'm going to be building in the new studio is recording multicam in 4K. Like I'm talking about recording recording content in 4k resolution multicam and do tremendous video production but see when you record it in 4k the file size is going to be crazy you 4k resolution we're talking about so these videos are going to be like 100 gigabytes so is it is it worth it I mean, I don't know, man. It's a lot of space you're going to need. So I got to see how I'm going to do that. But um, that's why a lot of people just choose to build, to build, I mean, to view 1080p. They record in 1080p. You said if you're just starting. See, fam, I cannot speak for if you're just starting if you're just starting get the best that you can get if, if you're just starting get something good you don't want nothing regular I, see i cannot recommend nothing regular if if i'm if i'm now getting into social media i'm not buying nothing regular i want what is the best because i'm serious about my work you know what i'm saying like, if you're going to live stream right now, I would recommend a Sony A6400. That's what I'm using right now. This camera is an A6400 with a Sony G Master lens. Don't let anybody fool you into thinking that, you know, everybody's using the highest quality this and the high. It's about how you set your camera. The settings on this camera that I have is giving me the, the, the image that I want. It giving me the proper bokeh which is the background being blurred. This is the bokeh effect when you go like that and you see everything else blurred. There you go. 
So with the background being blurred out, it makes the video look more cinematic, you know? But now if I go like this, you know, I don't know if the background, if you'll see it, if I move away, it'll probably make everything else. I don't know. It's still, it's still blurred. I don't know, but it would, it should normally like make it clear. Normally when you cover your face, it does it. I don't know, but it didn't do it. It's still blurred. That's because of the setting that I have on it. So it's seeing me in the front because you can set the camera to focus on you or you can make it focus on this side of the screen or on the other side. Um, how long have you been doing music? Since I was five years old. Since I was five years old. Um, what if you just started brand new? If you just started brand new, buy yourself an A6400. If you can't afford to get that camera, use your cell phone. Use your cell phone. You know? I'm going to talk about the Lakewood situation later. Um, I already made one video about it when it when the story broke. I was one of the first. But uh, more details came out where they talked about how a child got shot. Um, an elderly man got shot. And you know they got shot by the cops, right? That's what they're not telling you. They didn't get shot by the woman. The woman only made one gunshot. The cops were the ones that shot the child and the so-called man, allegedly. So in the house of worship, Joe Osteen is responsible for kids getting shot in church. We're going to talk about that. Trust me. <laughs> I ain't forget about nothing. You know? Uh, you can see they said the child is... Her ex-husband's very messy because they said that she came in there with a child or something along those lines. So why the police that was in there, the off-duty cops, shoot the child? See, they were trying to take her out and they end up shooting the child. That just goes to show God wasn't in that church. Why would God allow a child to get shot? Come on now. We're going to also talk about Joe's Osteen was smiling the whole time when he was being briefed by the cameras and the media. We're going to talk about it. Don't worry about it. Like, I got, I got a lot of stuff on my plate. So, you know, we'll talk about that later on, man. All that stuff we're going to talk about. It ain't going nowhere. It's still a fresh story. Ain't nobody else going to break it down but me. <laughs> ain't nobody else going to break down those stories like me. So it doesn't matter. Ain't nobody going to break them down like me. Nobody. And if they say anything that sound like me, it's because they're listening to me right now. You know? Okay. So we're going to get up on out of here, man. I'm going to go watch me a movie. Go watch me a movie and get something to eat. Relax a little bit, man. I did a lot of content today. A lot of content. A lot of this. Listen, when you're doing all this content, man, it takes a lot of your energy. You know? Um, somebody said Ringo. Um, there's more proof that Kobe was a blood sacrifice, but media don't want to talk about it. Well, why would the media talk about that? The media is not going to talk about Kobe being a blood sacrifice. Why would the media say that? You the same one that sent something on Instagram or, I don't know, somebody get these notifications all the time. Somebody said, hey, I got some proof that this or that or something along them lines. I can't read everything that everybody sent me, but... um. Is this video behind? Because on my screen, it's showing me 
and I'm talking about from the YouTube studio, it's showing me hole in the camera. So I'm trying to figure out, like, YouTube is like behind with something. This is weird. See, I'm going to use the camera rig that I have there. I'm going to see how it looks to stream. I'm going to see how it looks. I know it's going to look good, but I really didn't buy it for streaming. I bought that camera to record 4K video. 4K video on the fly. In other words, set it up and record and then edit my videos and then upload in 4K. I don't want to touch the streaming cameras. I want to lead them by themselves. I don't want to bother them. I don't want to take it off the stand. I don't want to mess with it. That's why I got the other one. So that if I go outside, I can move around. But I want to be able to use these particular cameras in nice areas where you can get some real good content. That's why I got to get out of New York because Elsewhere, you have a lot of different places you could go to, a lot of nice sceneries, beautiful landscapes and stuff like that. And it would look really nice in 4K, you know? That's that's the pretty much the goal, you know? Um, let me see. Somebody said the video is lagging or is YouTube lagging? Like meaning that the content is behind because I'm way ahead, but it's showing me in a different timing. So I don't know. You said Hassan Campbell changed his name to Snot Box Rocked TV. Do you know that I'm the originator of TV on YouTube? You know that? I had the first channel on YouTube called Ringo TV. Nobody used TV on their name but me. I started that. That's a fact. Do you understand me? <laughs> I was the first content creator on YouTube with the name TV in their name, Ringo TV, in 2006. Nobody used TV on their name. And my original logo had my username, Ringo TV, inside of a TV set. And that was my thumbnail. That was my logo of how I did my videos. And then there was a woman I'm trying to remember her name. I think her name was Gia, something Gia TV or something along those lines. She switched her name to TV. And then everybody else started calling themselves such and such TV, such and such TV. And it just, they just copied everything that I did. Now everybody's TV now. Now Hassan Campbell is not box rock TV. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So it's not Snotbox Rock TV. That's a crazy name now. He should have just kept his name. Maybe he don't want nobody to know his name now. <laughs> oh, so now it's Snotbox TV. That means he just got he just got his corporation situation um, set up. He probably just um, made some moves just now to improve his, his business. 
if he's calling it ink, he probably, you know, got some new paperwork to set up his business, make sure it's legit, make sure everything is right. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what he did. Probably He's probably using a name that's more of a, I don't know, probably setting up the business in a different way. You know? So that's about it, fam. We're going to get up on out of here. You know what I mean? I'm going to go watch some movie. Get something to eat. Chill out. And um, do what I need to do. And that's about that. So I appreciate everybody rocking with the platform, everybody supporting the show. You know what I mean? We put in a lot of work today, a lot of content. We put out a lot of stories. Um, I got I got so many things, so many things to do behind the scenes, man. Y'all don't know, man. Y'all really don't know how much work goes into this type of stuff, man. Yeah, man. This is why sometimes when I take a break, like, you don't see me come on in a day or or whatever. Because you got to take a break, man. Like, literally, you be burnt out. Like, literally. So that's the second channel name. Why do creators copy? Because they have no originality. You know what I mean? They have no originality. So they got to resort to copying from you in order to, it's sort of like this. You might do something that's dope and they figure, hey, this is getting some buzz. Let me go do it because it looked like it's working for him. Let me try it. It's one of them situations. You know, that's why I try to be as original as possible because people are going to get inspiration from you and they may, they may be motivated by certain things you do. I just don't like when people copy, copy, you know what I mean? But I salute people when necessary. Like if, if somebody do something dope, you know what I'm saying? I salute. I don't copy nobody. I'm 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 100 original. But YouTube is a competitive business, and a lot of times, you know, because of the competition, a lot of times people be, you know, it's like they don't want to acknowledge nobody and whatnot. It's like they become very selfish, and this this business will make you that way because when you're when you're not accustomed to getting your just due. It's like you say, fuck everybody else. That's the attitude you have, man. It's not, it's not a good one. I'm not really like that. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, it can really do that to you in these streets. It's like it'll make you feel some type of way when it comes to stuff like that. So you really have to, you really have to be careful. You know what I mean? So that you don't get caught out there where you end up making people change your attitude and whatnot. You don't want that to happen. Because sometimes people will change the way you feel about others and people, and it's not good. You know what I mean? Hold on a second. All right, all right, where we at? Yeah, a lot of times, like, uh, different issues will make you have, like, an attitude. And it's like you don't even want to work with nobody. You don't want to rock with nobody. You don't salute nobody. And you just become selfish. And the thing is, I try not to be like that, man, because in these streets, 
these streets are dirty, like these YouTube streets. It's no different than the streets like outside, but the YouTube streets can be dirty because YouTube is a competitive business. But the thing is with, with our people, and I'm talking about black people, they don't know that there's power in numbers. They don't understand the economics of YouTube. I don't think that we as a people have figured out that if we were to build and really come together in some sort of way, it can actually benefit the majority of the collective because we understand the economics of working with each other. And it's not working with each other with like we're on each other's shows doing videos together, not really that way. The type of working together that I'm talking about is when you acknowledge one another and we make the algorithm push the content. In other words, everybody salute everybody. And when you do that, your audience know about this person, that person audience know about you, that person audience know about that person. Before you know it, we all know about each other. You see what I'm saying? But what happens is in these YouTube streets that a lot of content creators don't know is that everybody have their time to shine. And what end up happening sometimes is you will have a season where You'll have a lot of success and then it'll die out. And when it die out, if you really had no relationships in these streets, if you had no, no, uh, no, no colleagues, no uh, people you respected, your peers, and you haven't developed any sort of uh, connection with people, then when you go on hard times or when things don't work out for you, you don't have no allies. It's like you don't have nobody that, that got your back. You know what I mean? And that's not really a, a good thing to to have in these streets. You really need to to really know people. That way, if something happened to you, people can put a word out there, put out an APB on, yo, such and such and such, this is happening, and we could get the word out there. But uh, the streets is too corrupt, and, and this is why... It's difficult to even help people, fam. Like, there be content creators. I see them going through things, and I be wanting to reach out. And, you know, it's like something in me be like, don't even say anything, fam. Like, let them, let them figure it out on their own, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the type of person I like to help people. But I could see somebody going through something, and I know exactly what they need to do. And sometimes, you know... You just got to let them sit there and let them figure it out, man. Because they don't even acknowledge you sometimes. So it's like, why am I casting pearls, man? <laughs> I see it all the time. I mean, even even my wife had to stop me the other day. It was some, somebody. I was going to reach out to somebody. My wife said, don't even do it. <laughs> don't even do it. Let that person figure it out. You be giving people too much advice and they don't even be saluting you. That's crazy. Don't even do that. And I'm like, you're right. I am. I'm, I'm wasting my time. Because, you know, naturally I like to help people. And sometimes you could be helping people, but the people you helping don't really give a blank about you, if that makes any sense. So while you helping them, you think you're doing a good deed, and it is a good deed to help people. But at the same time, that person is not appreciative of that. That person don't care. And that's a problem. You know? So you don't want to do that. Because they'll take your help as weakness. So, we're going to get up on out of here, man. Y'all take care. Ringo TV reaction. Salute to the mods in the chat. Peace and blessings to everybody rocking with us, fam. It is what it is, man. Y'all stay safe, man. Y'all stay safe. We already wrapped up the show already. We already talked about Pippin and uh, Jordan. Just rewind back the video to the beginning. 
and you'll get all of that information. We just pretty much chopping it up at the end of the stream. So, hey, y'all be safe, man. Ringo TV reactions. Number one reactionary channel on YouTube. You already done know what it is. Peace and blessings. Y'all take care. Everybody on the nine to five grind. Doing what they got to do. Y'all stay doing what y'all got to do, man. We out of here. Peace and blessings. We out. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash RingoTVRaw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at RingoTVRaw. This is Ringo TV Reactions. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw. An uncut amount. Peace.